let's talk about the difference between finding those coefficients, those values of the eigenvector, when I have two distinct reals versus a repeated real. So if I have two distinct reals, I set it up something like this, and I get it down to an equation where 3u1 equals u2. So I have things just in terms of u1, u2. There's no floating constant. What I said in the video is, gosh, what, what would happen if I just let u1 equal what the coefficient of u2 was? Well, if I did that, if I let u1 in this case equal 1, because that's what's the multiplying by u2, that's the numerical coefficient of u2, if I do that, then if I plug it into the equation, I find that u2 simply equals 3. So what ends up happening is the coefficients of the u1 and the u2 get swapped. So it sort of looks like no matter what we have to do is just swap the coefficients. So it would look something like this. But it gets confusing when we talk about repeated reals. Now, when we have repeated reals, we don't get the u1 and the u2 equaling 0. When we're finding the second eigenvector, we're setting them equal to a number. It happens to be the original eigenvector. So if I have an equation like this, 2u1 minus u2 equals 1, what I said in the video is let's, let's just let u1 equal 1, and if that happens, well then what's u2? And then I come up with 0, negative 1. Well, it seems like if I talked about swapping things before, why on earth am I not swapping things now? Well, because if I go back here, what I've done is, the reason why I could swap is I'm setting u1 equal to the coefficient of u2. In this case, I'm letting u1 equal 0. It's not actually the coefficient of u2. So there is no swapping. Well, let's see what happens if I did try to swap. So I'm going to let this, instead of u1 equaling 0, I'm going to let u1 equal negative 1. That's the coefficient in front of u2. If I do that, I'll do the same thing I did for the previous example. But now u2 ends up being, well, negative 3. So that eigenvector, negative 1, negative 3, it is still a valid solution because there's an infinite number of solutions but I think it's a lot harder to find, and it's no longer the simple swapping of coefficients. That swapping of coefficients only worked when I had things equal to zero, and again, what it really was doing, not so much me swapping, but setting one equal to the other, and then it worked out that the coefficients were whatever was in front of the other eigenvector value. So hopefully that clarifies it.